17 year old Olivia Hollingsworth trains nine hours a week at Oakville's Cheer Force All Stars. She's on one of the best all star cheerleading teams in the country. She's about to join thousands of other athletes in the province who will be training online for at least the next three weeks due to government restrictions. A lot of these teams have skills that you can't just throw on the grass. You can't just throw like in your kitchen and a lot of coach support is also needed when working on these things. The constant back and forth is just so unfair. I feel like it's just been hard for them to get excited about anything and then motivated, but this recent lockdown is probably the most heart-wrenching. When we were shut down a few months ago, we saw it in the youth. We've heard from parents how they were just, they needed an outlet and they weren't afforded one. Frank Vero owns the Oakville Cheerleading Club and says it's not just the physical aspect these kids miss during these lockdowns. To be in the facility, to be with their peers is vital for their development. Last year, most sports clubs had so many limitations to their programs, it began to significantly impact athletes. Oh boy, anything from can't get them out of bed, lack of motivation to do anything, let alone schoolwork, there was no social interaction. We've seen everything from kids who are completely lethargic to eating disorders, to not to mention their mental health. And because the teams didn't get to practice, they missed out on important competitions like world championships. A competition atmosphere is everything. It is their motivation. It is their get up and go to practice because they know a competition is coming. It was really frustrating watching the states keep everything the same, like still going, honestly, not that many restrictions. Game day is what keeps a lot of these athletes going. Unfortunately, many of those were also canceled over the past two years. Practice only, no games. And you could see by the end of last year, Players just were starting to lose interest. They were starting to lose that, you know, that excitement that they used to have coming to the arena. Um, you could tell in their, even just their, their attitude, their effort, um, they were starting to lose the love of the game. Hamilton Huskies general manager says their main goal is to teach these kids the life skills they learn by training in person. Giving them structure, discipline, accountability, all the things that, you know, we strive to teach our kids. Something these program owners hope they'll get to do again soon. These triple A athletes are all having their last and final practice before these new provincial government restrictions go into effect. They go into effect tomorrow and they will be here for the next three weeks. That means there is no indoor sports and we're here at Shadok Arena. As I mentioned here, they're just having their final moments. They hope to get back on the ice on January 27th after these restrictions are lifted.